Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two with Union Berlin here at Football Manager 20. So um, <clears throat> we talked a little bit about them uh, the past two episodes, or last episode, as I was looking at the jobs and then getting uh, the offer. So this is what we, you know, I was kind of looking at and what I was, you know, I'd only heard a few things but so the club's been around since 1906 so that's what 114 years 113 years and they had never been to the Bundesliga now in 1945 to 61 they dissolved and split up which was uh post world war ii so uh and what i was reading is they are based in what used to be east berlin uh, so for those of you that are too young, um, and remember, I'm coming at this from an American perspective. And so I, I'll try, you know, I try to be sensitive, but after the war, after the fall of Germany in World War II, uh, Berlin in particular was split up between the Americans, British and French on on the west side west berlin and the russians took control of east berlin and built the berlin wall which of course has since fallen which was a very good thing um so union berlin was located on what became east berlin under russian uh control and so i don't know if that's why the club was disbanded but it was disbanded through 61 in 61 they restarted as union berlin and lasted there uh, stayed in that spot until 1990 and then in 1990 looks like that's when they got into the second bundesliga for the first time and then finally made it into the bundesliga after 20 20 years uh in the second bundesliga and in 113 years or whatever that is of life <clears throat> and that's where they are uh this past season which is kind of sad that their first year <laughs> in the bundesliga they're gonna have this global pandemic um so i don't know where they're at I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go look and see where they're at if any of you know how how they were doing this year let me know in the comments i'm curious but uh, the home ground is called Stadion Ander Alten for, for Steady Stadium by the Old Forester's House. So that's cool. I like the name. It's the largest single purpose football stadium in Berlin. Uh, and it opened in 1920. So that's cool. And then if we take a look at the map here, so just in case you forget where everything is, so we've got the United Kingdom, England, and Scotland, and Ireland over here, France, Spain, farther south. Uh, boy, it's a good thing this is a football manager and not Hearts of Iron 4 or something, right? Because the map looks familiar. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, here's Germany. Um, Hamburg, Bremen, Hanover. So Berlin's over here on the Polish side, uh, Nuremberg, Stuttgart, Munich. Munich was the capital for a, for a while, wasn't it? I believe so. Like maybe during the war, they moved to to Munich. I don't remember. I think that's right, but eh, whatever. All right, if we come in here towards Berlin. All right, so you see all the roads. Those are pretty densely packed. And we've got quite a few things going on here. But FC Union Berlin is right up in this area here. We'll zoom in a little closer. So I don't know what this is. It's got looks like some roads in there, but that could be that could be agriculture, that could be a forest, it could be who knows. Uh, but we definitely have Martian Vertel up here. I guess that's like a, a, a suburb of Berlin is what we would call it here. But anyway, let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got some practice facilities, uh, practice grounds, 
And then here's our stadium. So that's pretty nice. Looks like we've got car, you know, for car parking out here. This is the looks like the office buildings, possibly the administrative area for the club. I don't know what road that is. That is the yeah. I'd probably be better off not trying to pronounce a bunch of stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Can we, do we have anywhere? Now, this is not Google Earth, which I think is the better option. Uh, we don't have a street view out here. Well, maybe from out here. Let's see. See if we can find where we're at here. No. Can't do that. All right. So we're going to, how do I get out of this? Oh, right there. All right. So can't see through all the trees here. That's fine. Uh, can we get down into here? Come on. You should give me a photo sphere right there. No? You're not going to help me out? Here we go. Inside the stadium. Ooh, that's special. All right, so this looks uh, this looks coming onto the pitch. That looks like the the dugout area. Yeah, that's coming right out of the locker rooms below the stands. So there we are, old for stadium by the old Forester's house. So completely covered. Looks like it's got a lot more seats than it said it did, doesn't it? Huh. Interesting. That's cool. Can we get out here in the middle of the pitch? Uh, look at that center circle, man. You do not get that on other YouTube channels. <laughs> you wouldn't have got it on this one either if they hadn't had the dots on the map. But that's cool. So here's the scene on the field. That looks like the home grandstand. I like it. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not uber fancy. You know, certainly not modern, but it's nice. It's in good shape. You know, it's got seats. It's got covering. Bad news. I did find out that our home kits are freaking red. Should have taken the Cardiff job. No, I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I hate red kits. Don't like them. As a Michigan fan, I hate Ohio State, who has red. It's garnet but it's still red uh as a Leeds fan i dislike man united red um so yeah just i don't like red very much let's see what else we got here that we can look at anything I'm trying to see if the oh what about right here what the hell Well, this looks like from in the stands does it not so this would be this would be one of the ends and then that with the red lights on it that looks like the home stand over there and then that looks like people are actually on the pitch here so that's cool I don't know why that would be but that looks like it's up in here somewhere but that's cool I like it What about right here? Oh, there we go. Icern Union. Is that... Uh, hold on. Hold on. I think I saw something about that. Icern Union is the fan chant. And it means Iron Union. I knew I had read that. So Iron Union. Good job. Icern Union. Cool. I knew I had seen that somewhere. And Stadium by the Old Forester's House. Good deal. So that other picture we were looking at was from up in here somewhere, even though the picture showed it over there. Good size uh, crowd. Liking it. I wish there was something and there's nothing. What about... Let's try right here. 
So it should be, and I think we would be, yeah, okay. So there's the, there's the administrative building, but we cannot see, we can't see behind it. And no, can't see anything behind it. Well, that's good. They don't have to worry about anybody spying on them. And what else? Anything? Uh, let's see. I was looking for some, you know, where we could get down on one of the flipping roads. But, you know, what are we going to do? Let's come down to the main intersection here, man. See what see what town looks like. All right. We got some renovations going on on the building. All right. I don't know. I don't know any German, so I can't help you out here. Always like these little point buildings on the corners. Those always look interesting. That's cool. Just kind of wanted to look around a little bit. Let's see what else we got. Anything interesting over here? I don't know what any of this is. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, the Spree, the Spree River. Can we see that from anywhere? How about right? Let's go right here. Now I want to I want to actually be on the freaking bridge, dude. Thank you. All right, so there's the River Spree or the Spree River. Nice. Oh, there you go. That's a view. Like it. So yeah, we I don't know where we're going to live. Not sure how expensive Berlin is. We're making what a million a year. So we should be able to afford a little bit. Maybe we could live on the freaking island. That would be awesome. How do you even get out there? Like, in all seriousness, I don't... I don't see a bridge. That goes over. There's no off-ramp to get to the island. Looks like you have to take a boat to get there, dude. That's pretty cool. So you have to take a boat to park, to, and then you have to walk to your... What if you're like one of the people who live up in here? That's weird. It's cool, but it's weird. I mean, like, what do you do if you have, like, a lot of groceries and it's raining? That would suck. And it's the damn bridge. I've got to go to the damn bridge again. So I wonder if I could live on the island and have a boat and then ride up the river and like get because there's the stadium we could come in like right here right we'd be coming in from that way and we could come and we could we could park right here and like cut through the cut through the forest here right and then we would walk, we would walk up through here and, and just right through the parking lot. That works for me. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to some football. Uh, we do play, have uh, two matches today, hopefully. That took 15 minutes. So hopefully it doesn't cut into our game time too much. But, you know, I like looking at that kind of stuff. All right, we are the away team again. Pokal first round, heavily favored. Looks like we shifted our midfielders in. Come on, hurry, go. Pick up where you left off. Go kick some butt. The uh, the really bad jokes are just lining up, and I'm going to do my best to not use them. All right, Marasco. Drops it off. Oh, and that was a poor header by Sidis. Oh. He uh he's in the last year of his contract. He's 30 or 31. But he is a team leader and our captain. So I'm thinking about keeping him, even though he would be typically one of my first culls. But he won't talk contract right now because he's still in a bad mood. Oh, Hill, uh, you got to do better than that. Where was that big shot you gave his last game? 
All right, Abzalov. And that one goes high from Rus. Vogler. Oh, you can't just give it away. All right, there's a nice ball into space. Marasco into the box. Oh, he crossed it. The empty netter for Francisco Jose Rubio. His first goal of the season. Marasco probably should have done better with his first shot there. But then he gets in. The keeper goes for it completely out of position when Marasco finds Rubio on the backside. And that's an easy goal. It will not get any easier than that. Uh, let's get creative. Oh, good. Oh, bad. Better. Worse. <laughs> okay, that's... Let's control it a little bit now. Nice one touch. Oh, good through ball. Oh, and he tried to just ease that one past the keeper. Little unlucky. Eleven to one on shots. Absalov, edge of the box. He pings it. I think that was a save, and Marasco kicks it out of bounds. Come on. A oh, good ball out to Rubio. He cuts it inside. Coming right back in on them. I like the I like the ball movement. Oh, he just broke in. Man, we have got to find a way to put some of these in the net, fellas. Need to do better. All right, Marasco finds himself on the opposite side of the pitch. Uh, I think there was a foul there. Yep. Roos was, and I'm, that's Roos, not Royce. I'm pretty sure. Who's taking it? Hill. All right. Oh, that was a nice one. Nice penalty. Third goal of the season for Tom Hill. Tommy Boy puts us up 2 nil. I'm liking that. All right, let's praise him here. Ooh, a little complacency. All right, maybe you can't praise Germans. I don't know. Need to crack the whip on him a little bit, maybe. Oh, good defense. Look at the through ball. And he did slide that one past his first goal of the season officially. Kodorowski with the assist. Dimitris Sitas with his first goal under my tutelage. And it's 3-0. And I think we have got a, yeah, free kick here. And Kodorowski sends it high. Playing well. Only halftime. 25 shots. Jesus. Their legs are going to fall off. All right, you and you, you know what you get. You get the calm down speech. Uh, let's concentrate. Please. Oh, there's a nice header down. Over the top. Oh, just a little out beyond Cetas's range. Oh, that could have been a brilliant run on. Oof. Rubio squares it in. Can we find a space? All right, that was a good, good hustle to get the ball back. Dangerous tackle. I'm liking the, I'm liking the run to the ball. They're not, they're not losing the ball. Oh, there's a shot just wide. Every time there's a challenge for the ball, they're winning. Okay, they didn't like to concentrate. Now they're overwhelmed. 
<laughs> All right, Cetas. He's in space. Nobody's on him, and that was not a good finish from our leading striker. I'm excited about that young 15-year-old kid. I want to put him on a big league contract. You know, big league. I want to put him on a professional contract so he can uh, so he can actually play. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, that's in. I think there was an offsides there. Yeah, Royce Roos was offsides. Come on, fellas. Back into the mixer. Finding a little space, Morascal. Look at the hustle for the ball. I'm astounded by that. Because you don't see that a lot. So they're, they're actually going after the ball. Oh, taken away. Oh, you got to do a better job. Come on. All right, let's pull off Arturo. And I'm still trying to figure out all these names. All right, so we've got Gallus. There we go. All right, Bloom. Not really. Hartle. I could live with that. Stein. I like Stein. I think Stein's, Stein needs to be my go-to guy there. And then uh, Absalov for... Let's play Breitz. I need to get Breitz into, you know, I want him fit. He's also our third striker, so... We can always move him up top if we need to, but that way he uh, he does get some game time. Argeter. All right, he lumps it back to the keeper. Draband. We're getting Draband back together. Oh, look at the tackling. Morass goes all over it. He's in on a break. Oh, and the keeper just, just got a fingertip on it. Let's demand more. I need to see better. We should be blowing this team off the pitch. I mean, we should we should just be crushing this side right now. 14 shots on target. I mean, if we, if, you know, we're not, you know, we should be winning this game 6 nothing. I honestly believe that. There's a header. And I don't know what happened there. It looks like Hafetti tried to clear it and Marasco came charging in. That was, that was an odd development there. Saved by the keeper. Oh, it went through his legs. Hafeli was going to let it go through his legs, and Morasco put it in on him. Nice. Pretty happy with that uh, transpiring. Rubio over the top, and Morasco's off sides. All right, so I think let's put Beats up top with her Cetas. And then Cetas will pull from that mid center. And we'll play Gallus there. Do I want Gallus there? He can pass well. Yeah, we'll play Gallus there. Good deal. This guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> All right. It didn't count, man. He was. He, it looked like he, he was off sides. Why couldn't you see that? Oh, wait, you did call that? Oh, okay. My bad. All right, there's Gallus. 
Oh, uh, that was not a good ball. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's take off. Get stuck in. Just settle them down a little bit, you know. Oh, look at the ball just drop in for him. Woo, and Beats was looking goalward. And we're going to pull back to balance. Just kind of settle it down. I'm going to be, 4 nothing's good. I don't need to rub it in anymore. So we will meet minimum expectations with getting to the second round. Oh, Hill should have, didn't even get the shot off. You know, I guess there is such a thing as too many highlights, even on extended only, I mean, a key only. So this is going to be a one-match episode. My apologies. But, you know, we, we get that. You know, we spend a lot of time on the map. But we only do that once a club, right? So it's not like a little flick on header. But this match has, has taken forever. <laughs> I'm like, geez. Oh, come on. Get there. Oh, he, that's the first ball I think we've lost this game. Ooh. Dinkelbach with the assist. Marcus Seitz with a nice ball placement there. Um, I'm going to tell them to concentrate again, and they can get all pissy if they want. Over the top, there's a header by Norbert Roos and his second goal of the season. And his, well, that said it was his first ever goal for FC Berlin. But it was his second goal of the season, and the season just started. Interesting. All right, well, we showed some, some fortitude to come back after we gave up that goal to get it right back. A minute later, literally. Holy crap, 42 shots. That's crazy. Crazy. Man, 42 shots. That's insane. All right, we do have the draw tomorrow, so let's get to that. Aturo makes his debut. We picked up 284000 I mean, that's a nice payday. CTOS. 15 hours without scoring. Al. Uh, Marasco, a goal and assist, 10 dribbling. And we'll get him for his efforts in front of the goal. And I do want to do the draw here. So let's come back for that. All right. Second round draw. 32 teams. I just draw them all. I don't drag this out it is what it is boom Hanover 96 from the Bundesliga so yes we probably lose and that's you know that's where we were supposed to reach so we are playing Hanover and I guess that's Hanover's stadium so we're playing there hopefully we get because it's a cup we get part of the gate I don't know how I don't know how that works but uh, let's see. So finances, we picked up that money from the win, but we're still way in the hole. Now, 2.3 million, and we are in August. So yes, we did spend 1.1 in fees, and we didn't have any income. So if we pull 1.1 out of that, that's 1.2. We would be almost breaking even. Now, keeping in mind, we've not played a home game, and we got a pretty good chunk of change. We did get gate receipts. So I guess that was from this match here, the one we just played. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't, you know, if you know how any of that stuff works, I, I don't pay a lot of attention. So do we get gate receipts from away games? Cup matches, I'm assuming that gate receipts came from the Polkel first round here that we just played. 
All right, do I come right back? I tell you what, let's come back. We'll skip mains here. We'll come back for hamburger and Paderborn. Uh, Paderborn only because I don't know anything about them. Uh, don't know anything about any of these teams because I don't follow Bundesliga football. But Paderborn was the other club that was looking for a coach. I did not apply, and I've heard of hamburger, and I like hamburgers. So we'll come back for the <laughs> a good a reason to come back as any right we'll come back for that one hit that like button please if you don't mind and subscribe that way you get notifications if you hit the bell uh for anything that i release on the channel we'll see you tomorrow bye